Protecting our citizens online includes shielding consumers from scam calls. Uh, IMDA has worked with the telcos to block international scammers from making their phone call look like they're coming from commonly spoofed numbers such as 999 and 995. We can still use those 995 to call out, but you will not be able to receive a scam call coming in made to look like 995. That's already been done. But we will move on to introduce uh, measures to stop international scammers from trying to spoof numbers that look like they are a local number uh, targeting our citizens by introducing a requirement to have the plus symbol as a prefix for all overseas calls. So all overseas calls coming in will be identified and identifiable by having this plus prefix. And we hope this will help consumers better identify international spoof calls and reject them. But the government will continue to develop additional measures to combat scams so that our citizens can be better protected. MCI will work closely with other agencies in the newly formed Inter-Ministry Committee on Scams announced by MHA to strengthen our collective efforts to tackle this problem. Mr. Darrell David and Mr. Vikramna asked about measures to guard against deliberate online falsehoods and these can threaten our multiculturalism and the harmony of our society. We must protect our social cohesion in the real world and online to uphold the shared values of Singapore. The Select Committee on Deliberate Online Falsehoods recommended for the government to support fact-checking initiatives and strengthen public education to build an informed and discerning citizenry. We will do so together with a range of partners. One timely development is the National University of Singapore's decision to establish a center for trusted internet and community. The center will research how societies discern online harms and how to build responsible public discourse. MCI welcomes this effort. This will be an important academic complement to existing efforts that nurture healthy, well-informed, and inclusive online activity.